I've been getting a lot of questions about Stripe and how you can set up recurring payments, so I just made a video on how to do it. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. 98, 98, that is 98, that is not a nine, but 98% aren't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button and make sure you leave the video a like. Had a lot of questions on my how to set up recurring payments on Stripe tutorial on how to set up a weekly or monthly auto subscription, right? So I'm gonna walk through exactly how I personally would set this up and hopefully it's gonna help you guys out. So big up everyone in the comments that left you know questions and and you know things they needed answered i want to say bon vivant chef tory i hope that i hope i got that, that right um and also truly majestic big up everyone leaving the comments and also uh hip hell hip Hip, hip lelel. So uh, they've all asked about this two days ago, two weeks ago, four weeks ago. I do apologize for the delay in getting this video done for you guys, but I truly hope this helps. Essentially, I'm gonna walk you through how to do all of this from start to finish, and we are going to start on Stripe. So I just set this one up here, which is a designer future thing, just to show you an example, but I will just delete this and then show you again. Essentially, what you wanna do is you wanna load up your Stripe account, and then you wanna go straight to your products, okay? Okay, so essentially this is where you want to design what you're gonna be getting people to sign up to, right? So I'm gonna use the same sort of concept. I'm gonna do my design a future weekly calls because that's something that I do anyway and it's just something that I need to set up. So what we'll do for this product name is we're just gonna call this, actually what we'll do is we'll just use, we'll use um, Bon Vivant Chef Tory <laughs> Great name, by the way. Um, we use her her example, right? So for example, I see monthly cooking class subscriptions. I have my product on my website and when the user clicks buy, they enter payment details and are billed monthly. Okay, cool. So I don't know what her product is, but let's just say, uh, let's just say uh, it is a weekly cooking class, right? My strap will probably be like, what's going on? Uh, and let's just put this down as test and you can leave all of this, it really doesn't matter, um, but you can leave it on here, so this one I would probably put your company name, and then you just wanna hit create product, pick a month uh, and pick a nickname, so we're just gonna say cooking class, and this is where you want to decide if it's gonna be recurring or metered by a certain metric, but I would always go with recurring quantity. So that just basically means when someone signs up to the subscription, it's then gonna come out on a monthly period, which you can decide at the bottom. So it says, does this pricing plan have multiple tiers based on quantity? So that is no. But if you did, for example, have you know a package that was one cooking class per week, and then there was another package that was two cooking classes per week, you could just add that here, and then obviously start to add your different units and your uh, tiers, essentially. So, but we're just gonna go for no. Um, let's just pick a very basic price of, I think we've done 7.99, oh, 7.99. And then we're gonna go down to the bottom and just hit monthly. But same again, if you want them to be billed, you know, one pound a day, I doubt you would ever, ever. Um, or you wanted them to be billed every three months, every six months, every year. It, totally depends on your individual product. So this one here, we're gonna leave that as none. And then you've got subscriptions to this plan will automatically start with a free trial of this length. So you could also, you could also, if you had like a seven day free trial, then you could have that in here and just literally put seven days and then they're gonna be billed to 7.99, which is a pretty good like incentive for someone signing up, right? But anyway, we're just gonna hit add pricing plan. And then you're gonna to get to this page here. So that is basically it. You know that you've got your weekly cooking class and you know it's priced at $7.99 per month. So I typically use lead pages to build my websites and all of my funnels. I do actually have a seven day free trial uh, for lead pages if you do want to build it out. And you know if you just wanna try the, the software, there will be a free seven day trial for lead pages below. I personally prefer this over ClickFunnels, Wix, you know, anything, basically you can build websites in here, you can build landing pages. I have pretty much everything going through my lead pages account. So essentially what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use a lead page today simply because I'm not gonna put it on my website. We're just gonna hit delete here. 
So you can do this on your website, do not get me wrong. And also I'm gonna be showing you through lead pages. However, if you have a different platform that you're using, uh, you know, the steps will be pretty similar. I just, like I said, prefer lead pages. It's just so easy, it's just drag and drop and everything is essentially where I need it to be. Also, they have some great templates, so you really don't have to do much when it comes to uh, you know, building out whatever you're trying to build, right? So what I'm now gonna do is I'm just gonna create a new landing page and show you exactly how I would then set this up. So we're gonna optimize it to make sales. We're gonna click the make sales one and then we're gonna just find a relevant template that we're gonna use. So the one that I just used here is just called the course funnel checkout page. This one is really good, really clean and straight to the point, which is ultimately what you're wanting to do when you're getting someone onto a page like this, right? So we're just gonna hit use this template. And we're just gonna call this uh, Stripe video test. and we're gonna get this nice clean template. So obviously this is where you're gonna to want to change everything. So let's just quickly just change some of these bits just to give you a quick little overview. So we can find I don't know, a picture of me. Uh, I can't wait for you to join you on this journey. We'll leave all of this, what you get, we'll leave all of this. Uh, but of course, make sure you change all of this guys when you do use the templates. Make sure this is all completely relevant to what you are selling. So at the top here, you've got get the course. We'll just change this as well. So let's just call it uh, design a future weekly mentorship uh, course. I don't know, whatever you want to do it. Um, however, your, however your marketing, your product is going to be completely different. But of course, we're here for the checkout page, right? So what you want to do is just click on the checkout page and it's automatically going to bring up this on the left hand side so you do want to make sure that your your stripe account is connected to your lead pages account very simple you just go into the settings and click on stripe add in your username and password and it does it very very seamlessly so what we're going to be using today is actually a new thing that come out on lead pages um, probably about two weeks ago i believe and it's actually the subscription panel here so clicking on subscription you then want to click on the down arrow and straight away you can see that you've got our product which is weekly cooking class so just click on that and then underneath you've got select a subscription plan and of course we know that the only subscription plan that we've got under weekly cooking class is the 7.99 per month so we're gonna hit that and then what you can also do is start to change the integrations as well. So if you go on to number two, you're gonna see here that you're gonna get a new lead notification when someone you know, purchases through this, this site. So you could obviously change this. Let's just change this to uh, weekly uh, cooking class form. And you can also start to add different integrations. So if you have uh, let's just go more services. So if you have one of, you know, uh, like an email service provider that you use, um, I typically use, <clears throat> I typically use Active Campaign or Mailchimp. So you could also then start them in a uh, like a, a weekly email newsletter as well, if that is included in this product that you're selling, which I would definitely recommend setting up if you're doing something like this, because it's gonna be continuously giving that person value. So also, if you have like a like an onboarding for this new product, then of course it's gonna make sense to have that automated and sent out automatically, rather than you getting an email saying, oh, someone's, someone's come into your product, someone's you know bought from you, and then you go in, oh my God, okay, so I've got to send a, this email to welcome her, I've got to send her this email to explain it, etc. etc. Please, guys, have that all automated. So, I'm just going to click back, but like I said, you can literally add loads of integrations here. You can, if I scroll down as well, you've got all of this other stuff you've got Zoom, you've got Slack, uh, you know, so many different stuff on here. So, Pipe Drive, you might want to add them into your Pipe Drive. Uh, email by Zapier, Zapier is definitely, definitely a big, uh, big one for me. I would definitely start including Zapier into the business straight away. But anyway, going on to the next one, you've then got fields. So if you did need some more information about the person, then 
you can of course ask it in here so you've got like city comment first name last name etc etc i don't need to add any any more fields you know <laughs> email address and card number is good enough for me but you might want to add um you know their first name and let's add their first name you can just do it like so there you go Let's just do first name, email address, and billing information. That's everything that we need. And then just go on to number four, which is actions. And of course, this is where you can, I mean, I'm not gonna get into all, all funnels and stuff like that, but you can just leave it as a def default purchase page, or you could then do it to a different landing page, or literally remain on the page. And also you can add in a lead magnet to this point as well, which is a really good thing. So if you have like a product like this, what I would recommend if you're doing like a weekly a weekly mentorship or weekly calls etc that people have to pay on a monthly basis a great thing to design is just like a welcome pdf that just explains everything right so if they get one call a week and you know on the calls you talk about these different topics etc etc i would just simply design a pdf go onto canva create something very simple but obviously think that it's still your product um and just design it on canva and just have something that will automatically send to these guys. So you see here, I've got uh, Ollie's content calendar. That could be something that with my Designer Future weekly mentorship calls, that anyone that buys this product automatically gets my um, content calendar download as well. So I could just add that here and just hit save and close. So now you can see straight away, it doesn't really look relevant because of the PC, but if we, uh, okay, cool. Like weekly cooking class. I've got some pictures of a product here. That doesn't look great, but it looks okay. Right, so now we're just going to preview this page and we're going to see exactly what someone would see when they're coming onto here. Uh, because I'm in preview mode, it's not actually going to show me the checkout stuff, uh, which is completely okay. But you can see here, you've got your weekly cooking class. And when we actually publish this, which I'm obviously not going to do, um, yeah. So when we actually publish that, which I, like I said, I'm not going to do, it will show up like this. It's gonna say 7.99, and you can see that it's got here per month. So they know that they're gonna be signing up for a monthly basis, and that will then automatically take it out on the day they enter their credit card details and 30 days after. So guys, I hope that video helped. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for the support. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the questions. Um, just hit 900 subscribers on the channel. We are hoping to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. 100,000 subscribers would be lovely. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Keep leaving all of your comments. Keep leaving all of your questions. Peace. <laughs>